Let's play a little more with the uh, predator prey model and introduce some ideas that might be useful in one of the projects. Um, first, let's write out the differential equations that, um, that our model is following. Uh, it's good to write them here in the Excel file, even if we already wrote them on paper. I can't even remember. But let's remember what they were first. Uh, they were the way we compute the rate of change of the prey and that was some of growth rate times the current amount of prey plus some uh, other coefficient times the amount of prey times the amount of predators. So let's write that here, d prey dt, um, or you could call this prey prime of t. And we said some, proportion, some prey growth rate, but often in math we don't want to write the exact number we're using because we want to maybe change it later. So we could just use some generic coefficient. I'm going to call this a1 times uh, the amount of prey at time t. I'm using a1 there because prey at time t is a linear term. It's kind of prey to the first, so I'm multiplying it by a1. Um, and then uh, we got some other coefficient times prey at time t times predators at time t. And you might be saying, well, each of those is to the 1. Why don't I call that a to the 1? Uh, a sub 1, um, but each of uh, together these are a quadratic term, multiplying a variable by another variable is a quadratic. And then we'll do the same basic thing for um, d predator dt, or you could call it predator prime t, and I can't use a1 and a2 because I'm already using those, and I have different values here, so I'll call this b1 times predators times t plus b2 times Prey at time t times predators time t. So that's my differential equations. And the part here about new equals old plus rate of change times delta t isn't actually part of the differential equations. It's just how we're solving them. It's Euler's method. So I don't have to summarize that here. This is describing how the system works. So um, that's us writing our differential equations in math notation without using explicit numbers. The other thing we want to do is see if we can control things, right? We didn't maybe like this growing oscillation. And let's say we wanted to keep the number of uh, prey animals down to maybe 900 or 800 or something. So let's put what we want to control it to. I'm just copying to keep get the blue um, uh, number, blue background there. Let's say we want to keep it at 900, and we want that to be a number. Oh, 900. Um, and I already wrote that. So that's our prey target amount. And let's say our plan is if we have more prey than we want, we'll introduce more predators. And if we have less prey than we want, we will remove some predators. Sounds reasonable. So we'll say, how many predators should I introduce if my prey is a certain amount? Like let's say I have a hundred more prey than I need, like I have a thousand and I only want a hundred, uh, only want nine hundred. Um, I could introduce a hundred new predators, but that's pretty huge. We already have a lot of predators. We only have 30 and we maybe think that's kind of roughly right. So we could say maybe I want to introduce 10% as much. Um, so let's do like 0.1 and we'll uh, copy the blue color there. And we'll call this our proportional control parameter. Uh, so we'll take the difference between how many prey we currently have and how many we want, multiply that by the proportional control parameter, and that's how many predators we'll introduce. So my new dpredator dt will not just be this, but I can also say something like um, predator control parameter times uh, amount of prey minus prey target amount, plus all the stuff that was already there. So that says subtract 9, from, from 990, subtract 900, get 90 multiplied by 0.1, and that would be introducing nine new wolves. Does that sound awful big when we all already have 30 and we're just aiming to reduce the uh, prey amount by 90? That, that might be a little large. Uh, I should fill that down, but... Um, Let's go a little gentler. Um, so did things change very much? Well, we can check how much they change by saying 
let me put a zero here, and then that's like not introducing any new wolves, right? So that should be the same numbers that we originally got. Uh, so that's not much change. Oh, I should also change my differential equation description here. Um, so we could say, uh, I guess we'll call it b3 times uh, prey at time t minus prey target plus all the others. So that um, is my control term. It's not showing up. Um, this b3 times prey of t minus prey target is my control term. It's how I'm changing the amount of one thing to try to control the system. Now I'm not saying this is the best idea. We'll have to see, but at least we can simulate it in a spreadsheet. All right, so let's try cranking up this number. Let's try 0 0.001. Okay, that was barely any change at all. Let's try one less zero. Still not much change. Um, okay, that's not looking like we're really controlling the prey target, the uh, prey to our target of 900. It's still oscillating. Uh, let's try a little bit more control. Hmm, what do you think? I think things are getting worse. The oscillations are happening faster and they're getting bigger faster. Um, I kind of hesitate to wonder what will happen if I do this. Okay, so at some point our uh, number of prey reaches basically 4 times 10 to the 219th, which is probably not a good idea. So let's go back to something reasonable here. Um, so this really said maybe this isn't the best idea. Um, if all those uh, positive values weren't doing the trick, maybe we should try negative values. So let's try that. Doesn't look all that much better. Oh, that's even worse. Let's try going back to that, which was, there we go. So it's slightly faster. So this is really what showed that this wasn't a good idea. So in some sense, it's mathematically frustrating, right? I walked you all through all this stuff and it ended up not being a good idea. But aren't you glad we simulated it in a spreadsheet before actually going and trying it with a real wildlife population? So yay for math. So those are some ideas that um, are related to at least one of the projects this semester. And I uh, look forward to your emails about stuff.